welcome back to my channel or my corner it's me it's shannon i have a very special whipping chat today um i said on my previous video on my update um regarding draggy unicorn who still needs a name by the way still waiting to get done so i can post it and draw someone for that free painting hint hint anyway so saturday night when Mr. J came home, he saw me or was li saw me listening to Miss Karina's live, <clears throat> excuse me, and all of her spooky stories that her and her crew were talking about, which freaked me out. So after her live was done, he's like, "Wait a minute, I want to tell some ghost stories from West Virginia." He's from West Virginia. I'm not. I'm from right here in North Carolina. So, with that being said, I am going to work on my painting. And he's going to tell you, he told me he had two stories. So, I'm going to work on my painting. And he's going to talk. Have at it, Mr. J. Okay, so, I'm Mr. J. Seen but never heard. Or, yeah. Heard but never seen. Heard but never seen. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Woman's always right. Anyways. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. Anyways, ghost stories. Okay. These are stories that you can actually find on the interweb with, uh, or in West Virginia. One of them is about a woman named Mamie Thurman. It was a long, long time ago. Long, long time ago. Um, she was on her wedding day, waiting for her husband down by the train tracks. She was in her dress, everything. Just got married. They were going to hop on a train and take off. So, she was down there waiting, and all of a sudden, she had tripped, fell on the train tracks, and twisted her ankle, and she couldn't move. Well, you guessed it. She got run over by a train. Uh-oh. Yes. <clears throat> so after her death, on that same day, you could see her walking around in her wedding dress, just waiting for her husband, searching for her husband that never showed up. Dude, you're giving me goosebumps. Stop it. No, but no, keep going. <laughs> and this voice is done by James Earl Jones. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but it is sound kind of cool because, you know, he always does this. So anyway, in West Virginia, we was always told about Mamie Thurman. We never... Never saw... Actually saw her. But the thought of someone walking around in a wedding dress, still waiting on her husband, tripped over a track, twist her ankle, got run over by a train. Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. <laughs> so people have said, now this is just hearsay, that they can still see her walking around in her wedding dress. She has been seen on various places like graveyard sites, on the side of the highway, hitchhiking, no less. Um, and they say that you can like stand in front of a mirror and say her name like five times with the lights out, just stand in front of a mirror and she'll reach out and scratch you. You can say her name 10 times and you'll be able to see her face in the mirror that you're staring at. Really creepy when you're like, you know, 12, 13 years old. You don't want to go anywhere in West Virginia at nighttime. And you <laughs> definitely don't want to be picking up any hitchhikers wearing a white wedding dress at nighttime. Why would you pick up a hitchhiker in a wedding dress? I don't know. but. Some people do. So, 
No, you got stories about being hitchhiked, but anyway. Yeah. So, that was one story. The other story is I actually did this. I was actually there. I did this. I mean, it actually happened. There's a spot on the side of the highway where you can park your car, put your car in neutral while you're the nose of your car is pointing downhill. Your car will actually roll backwards. Up hill. I've actually been in the car and actually felt this car move. And they had, uh, I think there was like four or five of us in this little car. But it actually rolled ever so slowly. Backwards. Up the hill. Yeah, no, 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 I don't like going back home with you. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Bad enough about the train tunnel you took me through. Where it's only one way, one way. And you go both ways through the train tunnel. No, 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 no. You will not get me up in your whole town on Halloween after you years. No, she got giving me goosebumps. <laughs> Any more spookiness? Yes, there is one more. This was told by uh, an old man. I don't remember his name. He wasn't related to me in any sort of way. Uh, but an old man had told me that on Halloween night, if you was to take a lipstick, a marker, whatever, and you was to write murder backwards on the mirror, which turns out to say, Red Rum. Uh, I've been too scared to do it as a kid. I probably would do it now as an adult. Nah, in this house you ain't. Just to freak me out. Uh, but yeah, spelling murder backwards. And you will actually see the mirror start to bleed. <laughs> Blood running all down the mirror. Casper, shh, you're interrupting. But several stories that I've heard in West Virginia, one of them was my uncle told me that, you know, you know, I stayed at his house one night, my mom was working or going to school or something like that. I stayed at his house and he was like, well, you know, you're sleeping in the living room. He says, if you hear anything knocking or a knocking sound, he's like, you know, this is an old house. So, you know, just never mind. It's got creaks and whatever. He says, but there was that one time when a midget had hung himself in the closet, and that knocking was his feet kicking against the wall as he was choking. That really scared me to death because I stayed awake all night listening for the knocking, which I don't think ever happened. I don't remember it, but I stayed awake all night just listening for the knocking. Scared to go to sleep because if I did hear it, it'd probably be in my imagination and I'd probably want to run. Uh, as far as spooky stuff in West Virginia, there's all kinds. I mean, there was, there was actually a tree that when the moon is full, it actually looked like a crucifix of Jesus. A tree, no less, on top of the mountain. Everybody come from far away to gather and see it. The only thing they didn't have was, I think it is somewhere in North Carolina. It's called the Devil's Playground. And what this is, is a huge, perfect circle. No grass grows in this circle, no weeds, no trees, nothing grows in this circle. And because they say the devil and his Comrades or whatever, I mean, minions, minions, servants, whatever you want to call them, would dance in this circle, and that's why it never grows anything. And this is actually a true space, and you can go and look on the internet and find it. Didn't a friend <laughs> tell you about that place too? Yeah, they told me about this place, and I actually did go and look it up, and it actually does exist. There have been people who camp there, or kids that go and party there. 
and they go to sleep in their tent, they wake up, and their tent has moved outside of the circle, or inside the circle, but they're actually their tent has moved. They wake up the next morning, tent's in a different place. Now, whether that be gravitational or the movement of the earth, I don't know. Or it could just be a bunch of, you know, demon minions dancing around. They're in their spot, so they want to pick you up. Who likes to be in front of you? No? Get ready. Hey, yeah, that whole bunch of teenagers really playing a dirty joke on you. Yeah. But, anyways, I know this is short and sweet, but, like I said, these are my stories. One of them actually did. I was there, witnessed it, in the car, and it happened. The rest of them, I don't know. Maybe they have happened to some people. Maybe they haven't. People say they've seen Mamie Thurman walking around hitchhiking in a wedding dress at nighttime. But it is a true story. Again, look this up on the interweb. West Virginia, Mamie Thurman. And now, back to my wife. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. J. Okay, well, I go strangle him now because now I've got to have every light on in the house now or the apartment. <laughs> I'll let you guys get back to your regularly scheduled programming. And that, as you can see, this is my third video for today. <laughs> I haven't gotten a lot done today. Hopefully tomorrow I can do absolutely nothing but work on this guy. So I can meet my goal. I <laughs> will see you guys later. Like I said, you never know what's going to happen on my channel. And I definitely don't know when Mr. J will want to participate. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy hearing his stories. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you would like to see more, hit that subscribe button. And to be notified anytime I randomly put up a video. Make sure you ring that bell and make sure you select the all button. Other than that, I'm going to go kill my husband now. I'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>